Dear ladies and gentlemen, as a rapporteur for the future regional policy, I strongly believe that cities and regions in your member state play a central role in the European development and the further integration. We have to bring policies closer to the citizens who live in these European regions and cities. As former regional minister in the Dutch province of Brabant, I can only stress that this bottom-up approach is key. The EU regional and cohesion policy was and will be indispensable. It's the European Union's policy in which we link the goals for EU 2020 strategy and the new challenges in your member state with local and regional authorities and partners. European territorial cooperation is an important tool to combine best practices and to foster further innovation. European Parliament has supported a bigger share for this aim of territorial cooperation in the next multi-annual financial framework. In this workshop today, you will discuss the challenges that are caused by the aging population. I consider it a task of society to see our aging population not as a problem, but as an opportunity. Through promoting active and healthy aging, we can mitigate healthcare expenditures and thereby contribute to the well-being of our aging society. Moreover, we can benefit from the extended development and the use of, for instance, smart ICT products and a lot of services. Innovative active aging solutions enable us to provide better care, a higher quality of life and provide a higher degree of social inclusion. It's all about silver economy, as I call it, a silver economy with new jobs also for the young generation. A German study carried out in North Rhine-Westphalia that explored regional economic and fiscal effects has shown that such a mature economy is able to create jobs, a care and tourism, a positive effect. I believe that uh, 2012, the European year of active aging and solidarity between the generations will give serious boost to the silver economy of European, Europe, Europe's regions. Awareness will be raised, good practices shared and policymakers encouraged to develop new initiatives. This European year is perfectly in line with the European Innovation Partnership for active and healthy aging. This partnership that's part of the Innovation Union flagship, was launched by Commissioner Gagan Gwynn in November 2010. And this program will run till 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, territorial cooperation will bring together the best experiences for active and healthy aging in the member states, regions and cities. The Ambient Assisted Living program is another good example of such cooperation. But there are many other examples to be taken on board. That's why I wish you a good conference, good luck, have a good next period. Thank you very much.